Former utility CEO Christine Hallquist of Hyde Park says she's always supported common sense gun reforms, says that's what state lawmakers passed and Governor Scott signed back in April, infuriating many sportsmen's groups. I think he deserves credit for what he did, yes. For Brenda Siegel, a community organizer from Newfane. I think that it was a very good first step and I think we need to make sure that whatever we do, we're um, working with uh, what are best practices for making sure our kids are safe at school. I think that our kids being safe at school is the number one priority. Navy veteran James Ellers of Winooski says Vermont's gun reforms fell short. Says while Bill S-55 expanded criminal background checks to all gun sales among non-family members. They're not accomplishing what, what was sold to us. We don't have universal background checks, uh, as, as has been reported, and, and we need universal background checks. So uh, I'm certainly uh, going to ask the legislature to close the loophole that was left gaping uh, in that bill. The fourth Democrat running in the primary is 14-year-old Ethan Sonneborn of Bristol. S55 has real issues, and it has real places where it didn't go far enough. Um, I think it's crucial that we keep building on S-55. Um, I would like to see even stronger common sense gun regulations to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and weapons of war out of the hands of civilians. The most controversial change bans the sale of high capacity magazines in Vermont starting October 1st. Gun rights groups now challenging its constitutionality in court. For Ellers. I'm concerned that our law enforcement officials have such a task ahead of them enforcing this law. So I'm content to let it play out in the courts. As governor, Siegel said she'd wait and see what the impact of the new laws turns out to be, then suggests another one. We still permit the sale of, of AR-15s. I do think the AR-15s being banned is a good idea. Assault weapons? Assault weapons, yes. That would be in my plan, an assault weapons ban. I think we have. To, I think we need to keep working on the issue, and I look forward to. I would look forward to getting a suggestion from legislators from both sides of the aisle and both sides of the Vermont gun divide to see how we can move further to more school safety and more gun safety. But Hallquist doubts Vermonters are ready to go further this soon. Says the anger some gun activists feel toward Governor Scott, unwarranted. There's this whole weird, strange fear that, you know, we're not going to be able to hunt. Well, you drive cars, folks, and it's highly, reg you know, it's highly regulated. So, so am I open to do more? Yes. But, it, but again, we have to do it in a way that's, that pulls people together, not divides people. I'm about pulling people together. Hard to do sometimes when the subject is gun legislation. Tomorrow night, the experts and new polling data advise us on how the gun issue might impact voters in this fall's election. All tomorrow night here at 530.